Terran Intelligence has spent the last two weeks analyzing flight data from the Tombaugh Station attack. The data on the Sheevan Lucifer has been given special attention. Intelligence believes the Sheevans were tracking the captured Tyrannus cruiser through subspace to the station. Intelligence doesn't know how the Sheevans track the Tyrannus escort, but they've got a team of engineers trying to figure it out. They're also analyzing the shield system on the Lucifer. Unlike the shields on the Sheevan fighters and bombers, the shield appears impervious, not merely resistant, to all of our weapons. With the loss of Tomba Station, the Sheevans have gained control of the Ribo subspace node. That leaves only two subspace jumps between the Lucifer fleet and the Vasudan homeworld. We must defend the Vasuda Prime. Not only is it the humane thing to do, but it's in our own interests. If the Sheevans gain control of that system, it will be a short walk to Earth itself. While their proximity to Earth is cause for concern, we have no reason to believe the Sheevans know the location of our homeworld. There are dozens of star systems off the Ribos node, and the Sheevans will likely have to examine them all. It is obvious, however, that they are narrowing it down, and we can't afford to give up one more inch. The Lucifer-class destroyer was last sighted in the Ribo system, leading us to believe that Antares is the focal point for the next Sheevan offensive. We're going to move the Galatea and its fleet to the Beta Aquilae system, in case the Sheevans decide to attack Vasuda Prime through there. Command is sending another Orion-class destroyer, the GTD Bastion, to the Antares system to help us with the blockade. But for the time being, we're the only defense. I am pleased to announce we have two new weapons to use against the Shivas the Hercules Heavy Assault Fighter and the Synaptic Cluster Bomb. You may study these in the tech room. They will prove very useful. Report in 20 minutes for your mission briefing. In order to protect Vasuda Prime, the GTD Galate will be moving from Antares to Beta Aquilae. Alpha and Beta wings will provide escort. The sentry guns surrounding the jump node were severely damaged in the recent Hammer of Light attack. Alpha wing will inspect the sentry guns to determine if they are salvageable. Beta wing will provide cover. The Galate will jump into Antares, reset its coordinates, then jump to Beta Aquilae. Lately, the Hammer of Light has been attacking all ships passing through the jump node. It is your responsibility to destroy all enemy ships that you encounter. After the Galate jumps to Beta Aquilae, you will be contacted by the Detulia installation in the Antares system. There, you will receive your briefing and move on to your next mission. Intelligence has specifically requested you and your wing for these missions. Good luck, pilot. Not much happening here, Alpha Wing. All clear here, Beta. Someone's reprogrammed the 
sentries! It's a trap! We've been set up! Heads up, we've got visitors. So much for a quiet patrol. Area is clear. You are clear to jump in.
Heads up, we have company. Galatea jumping to Beta Aquilae. Alpha One, stand by. Your new orders are coming through now. Pilots, stand by for further orders. 